Greetings once again from little Finn and me. And she's going to be hopefully settling down quite soon and not terrorizing me in my proceedings. <laughs> hey little Finn, hey? Little girl. Alright, there we go. Okay, not so little Finn anymore actually. <laughs> not as little as he once was. She's about She's about five times the size of what she was when I first got her. Anyway, um, so we proceed and potentially complete this, this uh, farmscape today. And as promised, I'm going to be introducing some more different colors today other than blue. Um, let me proceed then. Uh, let me proceed. So I'm going to be bringing in any number of colors. Not such that it renders this piece garish or anything. But enough to Enough to uh, bring in that medley of of colour. That that also assists in bringing about form, etc., etc., etc. So uh, yes, as I said, I may or I may or may not complete this piece today. Depends on a, on a bunch of factors, <laughs> namely this detailed work, or rather squiggly work, squiggly lines, and 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 you know I'm I'm not covering a lot of ground, so uh, very rapidly as I was doing in the first instance and yesterday really covered a lot of ground yesterday so it's not quite like that today uh, nevertheless we'll just take it as it comes And I'm going to be bringing in these reds as I've just done, the bricks of brick terracotta red. Um, these more uh, creamy sandy colors. Right, so let's just start with, because this, the mud, the soil, is a very creamy clay in colouring. So it lends itself to this really great contrasting um, light and dark especially with this, these deep ruts in the earth um, along this track. And also the cracks and whatever you in the in the in these walls on either side of the of these trenches that the tractor ties have gouged into the earth and churned it up and what have you. So as it begins to dry a little, so we get these uh, these cracks in the mud. I'm not going to depict them specifically, because as you know, I don't like to go for too much detail. I like to leave a lot to the imagination and, and rather um, bring about these this the effect of of 
or the, 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 the interpretation through, through use of technique, color and contrast. So, yeah, that's my mission and that's what I set out with is to allow that to, 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 to transpire. My only hope is that those of you who are observing my proceedings interpret in similar fashion. So, uh, yeah, I'm using a vegan pew brown over here. Uh, just a little bit here and there. It's like a, it's like a, a sandy olive. I don't know its real name. I'm not, I'm not learned enough to, to, uh, to know all the names of all the different colors. Uh, having not done fine art, I don't know my tourmalines from my tiramisu's, to be honest with you. So um, anyway. Uh, that said, I I like to <laughs> um, I like to say the colours as they as they appear to me. <laughs> Hence, vegan poo brown. Not that I ever have seen what a vegan's poo looks like, but anyway, <laughs> the assumption is there. Maybe if there's any vegans among my viewers, you can you can either confirm or or deny my uh, my assumptions, and correct my assumptions rather. Uh, I do have the makings of a bit of a cold oh, or something um, the weather here in Durban has been rather nippy of late and uh, I guess there has been snow on the mountains of Drakensberg um, which means that the Midlands will be positively frigid but yeah, so it's it's quite nippy, and I guess change in climate, etc., change in the change in the weather, and all these things uh, contribute towards a lot of people getting flu and all sorts of mechy things. So, uh, do forgive me um, if I sound a little bit stretched in the vocal, in the vocal sector.
Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, now I wish to bring in some much paler yellow into this yeah, yellowy greeny mix up here. Let me just describe that quite roughly. So far, and then blend it in and what have you. As you can see, I'm working still quite roughly because I'm just feeling the essence of this of this place, of this location. Because I'm all about how does it make you feel? How does a place like this make you feel? So I'm feeling the ruggedness of this earth and this churned up this churned up mud, the splash of green of the grass on this on the edges. Of the uh, of the track grass that sort of spilled over from the uh, from the meadows surrounding and it's a rich very rich kind of grass and it's it's specific for cattle for grazing etc So I just wanted to kind of highlight that in a way and So all this sort of finicky work takes, does take the time. That's why I said I can never really ascertain as to whether or not it will take me a one, uh, uh, at least two or three sessions to complete an artwork. So, uh, and I don't like to rush. I don't like to place myself under any pressure because if I place myself under pressure, then I'm pressuring the artwork itself to to come together not as it needs to if that makes any sense um, so I just allow it to emerge layer by layer and just let it take shape in its own time as it will
Good to speak up, yeah. Um, so it comes together nicely, slowly, and almost in an abstract manner, as I'm always harping on about this kind of a kind of an abstract realism. These colors that I'm using even are are perhaps not um, true to the actual scene. And yet, by the same token, they almost tell us tell the story as it should be told. Because I don't want to, I want to tell, you know, a, a story, a novel, is always in a movie. You know, they're always an, an embellishment of of reality. It's it's an enhanced perspective. Um, that compacts the the narrative of time into into a into a very short space of time. So uh, you know, much like as I said, much like a movie, like a like a a film is say two hours long, telling a story, telling a tale. The same applies here, right? As as this piece evolves, it tells a story, and it is sort of two or three sessions long. Each session being being an hour. So uh, so yes, hello Sage. Here comes Sage to say hello as well. There we go, little Sage. Oh, oh, Sage is a gosh me. Okay, don't then stuff off. Um. <laughs> whatever um, yeah so as as a movie or a novel unfolds fairly rapidly compacting time into a very short space or a very short span I'm doing the same here because this is a story of an evolution of, of, of perhaps a week or so of maybe rainfall, numerous farm vehicles, tractors and what have you have driven over this track during that space of time, churning up the earth. And this is the result. This capture, this moment of this, this, this couple of sessions that I'm taking, that I'm using to describe this scene, is a combination of a week or even longer. You know, uh, it's 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 a frozen spot in time. That tells the story of farm life. Perhaps, whatever, whatever it is, what it, it, it's, it, you know, the, yours is the interpretation, not mine, necessarily. So, it might tell an, an entirely different story for you, and yet, the work that I put into it is what allows for the story. And if my interpretation is too vivid, too accurate, too precise, 
then that limits the scope of the story that can be told, that might be told. And that's why I work the way I do. That's why I like to leave a lot to the imagination. It's important that I do so. Might sound like I'm talking rubbish here, but, but that, 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 that's kind of my reasoning. Why I work like this, why I... Because I, you know, it's it's also finding out, finding answers for myself, for my work, why I do what I do, why I am what I am, and so on. So, uh, a lot lies in the unfolding of these stories. And it's not only about this particular scene, it's about me, perhaps. It's about my evolution. Even in the telling of the story, how I'm using my colour, how I'm using my contrast, how I'm uh, interpreting from imagination, from feeling, from mood. A myriad of things, really and truly. So yeah, I'm using colors in here that by and large are imagined and yet somehow manage to tell this story so much better. You know, the, 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 the and yet at the same time, even though I can say, sit here and say that, that these colors aren't necessarily in the uh, photographic image, and yet, that, yet they are, because all colors are in everything, at all times. And sometimes we see the world around us more vividly, more as a kaleidoscope, than others. Other times we see the world around us in very dull tones, according to our mood. So, not to say that I'm feeling particularly joyous, even in this moment, um, but I can choose to use my work, and I have done a great deal, uh, to use my work to, to uplift me, to turn things around. And for me, this piece is representative of that choice. this wonderful, treacherous yet bouncy track. <laughs> I don't know quite how else to put it. I'm already beginning to suspect, even at this point, that I may take yet another session to complete this piece. So there it is. There's a fair amount more work to be done. I'd still have to put in little, uh, even though they'll take 
a fairly short short amount of time. And, uh, I've got a, a bunch of things to do here that, that I don't want to rush. That I just want to slowly work through. Using colors as they are required. Where they are required. Now, where is that? There we go, we can use that for a bit. It's lovely marigold, just to bring in that touch of. late afternoon sun-kissed earth this wonderful glow of the sun bringing in a little bit of white here and there that I can blend in further of course just little highlighted spots along the way I shall be using my white to uh, line work to really start to pull this piece together as I near completion. Got about half an hour left for today. Not sure it will be enough. I'm somehow doubt, beginning to doubt it, which is fine. Uh, so. Just going to allow it to emerge as it must. Hello, Finn. Back again, are we? Oh, no, no, no. Come on. What is it? What is it? A little bit of this sort of a burnt, burnt umber. In fact, it's a little bit darker than burnt umber, so it's more of a terracotta orange on these shrubs over here. Just to put that in a little bit there. For now, right now I need some charcoal. Oh, no, actually, what I do need is some of this. Compressed charcoal.
So even if I if I don't complete complete this piece today, and even if I add another half hour session tomorrow uh, or during the next or for the next session, um, that'll be fine. Uh, you know, it's it's not to say that I have to be. It has to be an hour long. Um, it generally just sort of works out that way, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, But to rush it is not on the cards. Using my straightforward charcoal here now, just to enhance some of these. Just a little bit of light line work, nothing, not too much work. darken too much so I'm working very selectively here with this contrast because there's a fine balance mind you I could always just work to a 45 minute session today maybe I'll do that actually um, rather than rather than the full hour and then I can use another 45 minute session to complete with yeah that's what I'll do so let's just reset my timing device here quarter watch it's a chance of uh, right, let's see. Let's send that back five, ten, fifteen minutes. That gives us about about thirteen thirteen minutes. Can you not can you not stuff around here, please, little Finn? Thank you, my love. <clears throat> right. That will give us comfortably enough time to to complete in three sessions. Bada bing bada boom. doing and essentially what I'm doing at this point is just very rudimentary doodling <laughs> as I build this color up. That's all it is. In an almost impressionist way. Right. 
time for some eraser eraser work here. Yeah? using this to blend nicely even to even to draw with really as I blend colors and smudge I can streak them through Goodness me, that little squeak. Mm. Stop to damn squeaking. Lots and lots and lots of doodles. Doodles and their oodles. We shall bring in a lot of this, these lovely little cracks and fissures in the in the mud. Oops. 
oops, oops, come on, stop it now. I'm using my dark indigo here now. Just working up the contrast a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. lighter indigo as well Just a few minutes left now, uh, three or four minutes and then I'll call it a day. Yes, that's looking good. Right, I think I shall down tools for now. And, uh, well, <laughs> can you resist a couple of touches here and there? Right, okay, that'll do. Um, yeah, so I'm quite chuffed to have been, to have shortened this to three quarters of an hour rather than the full session. So that it gives me enough to 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 do a further three quarters of an hour um, in the completing session. So uh, I'm really enjoying the way this is coming together. Um, I'm enjoy enjoying the hues of color. I'm enjoying the contrast. I'm enjoying the pers enjoying the perspectives, etc. That are starting to take shape. Um, and I shall work with those further during the, the the final session to to bring it all together, nice and nice and tightly. Um, yeah, so hope you've enjoyed today's session and uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for bearing with me and my mental meanderings, etc. So uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please do, if you like what you see, 
if you're enjoying the, the, the process so far, uh, please subscribe and do hit the bell icon so that you get notif notifications of any further uploads that I might make. So uh, yeah, so thank you for thank you for that. Thank you for your uh, patronage. So yeah, I bid you oodles and oodles of toodles. So uh, in the interim, before I see you again, be kind, be gentle, be caring, be loving, etc, etc. And see you again next time, folks. Take care. Have a fantastic day further. And uh, be good. Bye. And don't forget to doodle.